A joint Chinese-Spanish anthropology team has just made a major announcement. The long-anticipated analysis of a hominid possible mandible is out. CNN reports August 9th, 300,000 year old fossil skull found in China, unlike any early human seen before. Continuing, an international team of researchers from China, the United Kingdom, and Spain unearthed the skull, and then two years later, the lower mandible. Continuing, it was found in Huailongdong region of eastern China in 2015 along with 15 other specimens. It is unlike any pre-modern human fossil ever found. The paper was released August 3, 2023. Morphological analysis of late middle Pleistocene hominid mandible from Guangdong, China. An impressive array of authors includes Maria Martinon Torres, Xu Ji Wu, Wu Liu, Xu Wen Pei from Paleoanthropology Vertebrate Institute of Beijing. The researchers also announced that the mandible fits well with the partial cranium, also found. The cranium and mandible suggest a more gracile mosaic of From the earlier paper, 2019, on just the cranium, Hua Long Dong. 300,000-year-old remains provide further evidence for regional variation and continuity of human biology through East Asians, modest chin, less projecting face. The researchers conducted an extensive geometric analysis of the cranium. They found a mix of both archaic and more modern facial features. The cranium is thick like Homo erectus, but the chin is receding. From the paper, the combination of both archaic and modern hominid features in HLD6 is unexpected given its late middle Pleistocene age. CNN and other media have suggested that the fossil find points to a potentially new branch of the human family tree. Life Science reports August 10th that the fossil could represent another lineage entirely. They quote Chris Stringer, who believes that the evidence supports the idea of a third human lineage in China, not sapiens, not Neanderthals. Could that third lineage be Homo antecessor? Maria Martinon Torres is regarded as the leading authority on Homo antecessor. Her colleague, Jose Bermudez de Castro, was involved in the initial discovery of Homo antecessor at Grandolina in 1997. From Nature.com 2016, Martinon Torres thinks that Homo antecessor from Spain is the strongest candidate for Homo sapiens common ancestor if such specimens can be found in other regions. In 2016, around the same time, Max Planck Institute's Matthias Meyer made an unexpected discovery in analyzing the Cima de los Huesos DNA, thought to be Neanderthals. Remains of 12 individuals from Cima de los Huesos, early Neanderthals, 400 to 600,000 years ago, were analyzed. There was a curious suite of traits, including gracile facial features, which led researchers to believe they might not be Neanderthals after all. From Nature.com, oldest ancient human DNA, Edwin Calloway, 2016. One individual identified from the remains was more closely related to the Denisovans from thousands of kilometers away in Siberia. 
Confusion peaked when Meyer and Svante Pabo revealed the connection to the Denisovans. Maria Martinon Torres, 2015. Two mandibles recovered from Grandolina revealed that Homo antecessor shared features with Homo erectus from China and Java, Indonesia. A set of fossilized footprints discovered on a beach in Norfolk, England, dated 900,000 years ago, are from Homo antecessor. And the Epitome 1 skull cap from Greece, dated 210,000 years ago, could also be Homo antecessor. Since the discovery of Homo antecessor in 1997 in Spain, scientists have believed that the species evolved from Homo erectus in Africa 1.5 million years ago, but no African fossils have since been found. This suggests antecessor is uniquely Eurasian. If HLD6 proves to be Homo antecessor, it would confirm what the Chinese anthropologists have been saying all along. Europeans and Asians have completely separate origins from Africans. Thank you for your continued support. One of our earlier videos, Paranthropus, just reached over 5,000 views. Please help us to grow even more by passing this video on to others. Thank you. See you next time.